On today's episode of American Truck Simulator, join me as we take this scraper from here in Raton, New Mexico down to Tucumcari in the early hours of the morning. Let's go ahead, roll that intro, and jump right into it. Alright haulers, hello and welcome back to American Truck Simulator. So, uh, there's going to be a couple of differences today, uh, quite a few hopefully. We're going to go over them really quickly. Uh, I am on a new PC, I have just gotten a new PC, it's it's in rough shape, we'll talk about that going uh, once we get out on the road here. Uh, but you may notice there should also be, if it works out, a wheel camera. Uh, that's something that's been requested for a long time. So let me know what you guys think about that, and if you want to see more of it going forward. That's uh, just raw. I'm not really going to do much to it in editing. Maybe I'll brighten it up or something like that. It doesn't need a lot. Uh, I am limited on the lighting in this area uh, where I'm at right now. But that's okay. Without further ado, let's go ahead let's get this thing out on the road, shall we? We'll go ahead and take off our parking brake, throw on our beacons. I'm going to turn on my info panels and my mirror just so I can see where I'm going. Uh, I obviously do not have track IR yet. That is coming. Now, the other thing is that I am wearing socks, which makes my pedals very, very slippery. So it's going to take me a little bit of getting used to uh, with the driving and getting used to the uh, shifting and stuff like that. So do uh, bear that in mind as I get used to stuff. I normally, if I'm driving with anything on, it's shoes and socks for when I am racing. For those that don't know, I do endurance racing on iRacing. Whoop, hit the little speed bump, so it started rolling me back. I want to skip over it, see if I can get out on the road here. Let's see here, this guy's coming. We'll wait for him. Uh, we should be okay. Fire truck's coming, so we gotta go. Accidentally hit the curb. Now, for those that are very, very keen, you will have noticed I'm running some interesting wheels. I'm not running chrome wheels. I usually run chrome. Uh, but the reason I'm not is because I actually, like, so moving everything to the new PC, I lost a bunch of profile progress. I don't know how or why or how to fix it, but that's a thing I have to deal with, which is much poo-poo. Uh, but it is what it is. I'll make the most of it. to the uh, shifting with socks on. I'm already not doing a very good job. But hopefully the stream, or the stream, <laughs> I'm so used to streaming. Uh, hopefully the video looks a lot nicer than it used to. Uh, I'm actually recording uh, much higher quality now, uh, better frame rates and stuff like that. Most of you guys may not even know it, but most of my videos have actually been 30 FPS videos. Uh, though I export at 60 FPS, so it shows up as HD because it really doesn't matter too much. Most people don't notice a difference. Hopefully it's nice and smooth. We'll see. Obviously, if it's not, this recording isn't going to see the light of day. Maybe it'll go out to my uh, Patreon viewers. But yeah, I'll quickly run through some specs of what the new PC is, give you guys an idea of what I'm working with here. I have a uh, X570 Aorus Elite motherboard, and on that I have a Ryzen 9, I believe it's a 3900X and an, an, and an NVIDIA 2060 Super. Uh, the only reason I went with the 2060 over the 2080 or 2070 is because I could not find any place that had them in stock. I don't know why, uh, but that was something I ran into, so hopefully in a few weeks or however long it takes for them to uh, come back in stock, I can pick one of those up, which would be really, really nice. But yeah, hopefully everything looks nice and, and clean now, and I might sound different too. I actually have a new microphone which is like twice the capacity of what my other one used to be. So that's really, 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 really nice. And uh, hopefully it'll make a big difference. I'm, I'm really hoping that going forward, my uh, quality will just get better. One of the biggest things that's been holding me back has been my PC. So being able to pick this one up has been really, really nice. And uh, hopefully you guys uh, get to see some really cool stuff going forward. 
And speaking of that, uh, one of the things I do want to mention is I've, I've had some people ask me if I'm going to be doing Flight Sim. I am, hopefully, crossing my fingers if I can figure it out. It is something I have wanted to do since I heard the game was coming, but my PC couldn't run it on low settings, so this new one gives me the opportunity to not only do that, but record it as well, which is really, really cool. So hopefully we'll be... Ooh, God. Oh, they updated the... Uh, engine sounds apparently. Maybe I'm not running the uh, modded engine in this truck that I thought I was. Let me try the Jakes real quick. Hmm. I don't know. I wonder if the uh, sound mod I used got an update or something like that because last I knew driving under an overpass didn't do anything. So that's very interesting. That caught me a little bit off guard. Oh god, does this feel nice. Like, honestly, that's the thing. So, uh, for those that don't know, I originally started doing time lapses because I didn't, I couldn't get high enough frame rates to do normal videos on a laptop. And, uh, back then it was like 20 FPS. So then I got my desktop PC, my first desktop, and this was like a whole new game playing on that. This PC, it, it, yet again, it's a whole new game. It's just so, so nice. And it's going to be so good for streaming going forward and stuff like that. And uh, hopefully the wheel cam and stuff looks alright for you guys too. Again, let me know what you guys' thoughts are on the wheel cam. i got to get used to having it and make sure I don't do anything stupid in the background. Uh, I don't usually do anything stupid though, so we should be okay. I'm going to slow down a little bit here. Obviously we got some road work on the side. Now, I've never actually seen a barrier trailer like that in real life. Have any of you guys, I think I've mentioned that before, like I've not ever seen anything like that. Usually it's like a single dump truck, like a single axle dump truck or something with a little water crush barrier on it or something like that, but uh, nothing, nothing major. Try and get ourselves going here. Now, the other thing too is hopefully going forward this means that I can bring some games back that I haven't played in quite a while. Uh, one of those being Farm Sim. I'd love to bring the Farm Sim series back to life. That is one that I have missed dearly. I was very sad to have to stop it. So, uh, crossing my fingers, we can get there. Actually, I do want to mention this. So, the issue that I'm having with my PC right now. So, for those that don't know too, I built this completely myself. I did it on stream as well. So, uh, if you're watching this within like a week of it having happened, then you can go over to my Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash lawnhollergmg and see uh, the replay of that and my fat gut on camera uh, where I built the PC from scratch and all that fun stuff. The one component that I got that was faulty was the power supply and it was kind of a weird situation because uh, I would be streaming or doing anything like that and all of a sudden like I have RGB fans and I, I, okay I'm one of those guys everything I have has some sort of RGB in it if I could do it my monitors would like my microphone has RGB in it I'm just I don't want to talk about it okay leave me alone but my RGB would like flicker reset and then the whole computer would suddenly black screen and reboot and I couldn't figure out for the life of me what was going on well it turns out that apparently the power supply that I got uh, I got an 850 watt power supply which should be more than enough uh, if I'm honest, obviously my PC only really draws maybe 550 at the most right now. The reason I got that was so I could expand out with more drives or anything like that going forward. I wouldn't have to worry about powering peripherals or anything like that. It's just... Oh, come on, dude. Get past me. Uh, gotta love it. But yeah, that was, uh, that was an interesting situation to uh, go through dealing with that, trying to figure out what's going on, so gotta send that back at some point. I'm still trying to deal with support and all that stuff, so what I was able to do is take the power supply out of my old computer and throw it in the new one, which is a temporary fix. It means I can't run it at full bore, so my videos might still be a little bit lower quality than they will end up being, because this thing's a beast once it's fully up and built. That's the thing, like, it's really, really, really nice. Oh, I just want to listen to Jake's for a second. Forgot my turn signal because I'm a professional. Ooh. I don't want to talk about that shifting. Oh, this is going to be fun putting me on the hill like this. And we got to stop here. Now I got to try and 
do this, uh, come on. Come on. Yeah, I don't know if this is the engine sound I've been using. I've been using a modded one. And if you're interested in any of the uh, mods that I'm using, you can find a link in the description to a little collection on Steam that has all of that right there for you, so all you have to do is click the plus and add it. Uh, that's something that I wish a lot of people who made ATS content would do. Uh, that is specifically why I focus on nothing but workshop content, or, or excuse me, using mods from the workshop and nowhere else. Uh, it's entirely just because I like being able to link it to you. It's more reliable than anywhere else, so you don't have to worry as much. Uh, obviously, there's some really skilled people out there that make some really nice mods that you can pay for, but honestly, if they... Like, we need a good marketplace or something, because I don't personally have a Facebook. I've talked about it before. If you're on Facebook, I'm never getting something from me. I don't care. It's just not going to happen. If it's someone who's like, oh, I'll send it to you. No, I'm not going to do it. Like, sticking with the Steam Workshop... Basically, like I've said it, the, the whole goal is I try to only do stuff that everybody can get access to. That's kind of my, my hopes here is that situation. Everyone can get access to what I use. But yeah, I'm probably a little bit all over the place. My mind is scattered this morning. Uh, this is like, geez, as of this moment, I think this might be like hour 13 maybe? Probably, uh, I don't know. It's, it's been a full, full night of just dealing with getting everything set up and trying to get this stuff done. One of the things being that I didn't actually have a video recorded for today, so I had to get everything set up so I could get the video done. I'm pushing the time limit right now. Basically, if this recording goes wrong, I'm not going to make it on time today, so no pressure there. But hopefully, everything will go right. I'm realizing now, too, we're actually kind of flying. We're going a lot faster than I intended to to our destination, so this may end up being a, a slightly shorter video. I gotta slow down a little bit here, because I'm going a little bit fast. Where's the accent coming from? I suddenly sound southern. I don't know why I do that. Sometimes I just randomly, like, I think I just get tired of talking. <laughs> I just randomly slip into, like, different things. Oh, goodness me. But, yeah. Hope you guys are uh, all being safe, all that fun stuff. I'm finally getting out a little bit more now. Obviously, I'm not going to talk about stuff going on. Just wanted to throw that in there. It's uh, definitely getting colder here. Uh, how's everything doing in you guys' areas, temperature-wise? Oh. Come on. I screwed it. I don't know what I did. Ooh, that was close. Oh. So my shifter is all the way over. So it should have been in six. So hopefully the camera caught that so you guys can see. I haven't been making that up this whole damn time. I've actually had it like sh shifted and it just doesn't take sometimes. I don't know why. So I wonder if my shifter is starting to go or something like that. I don't know. Hopefully at some point I'll be getting a new one anyways. I do uh, quickly want to give my Patreon supporters and my twitch subscribers and all you guys just a, a massive thank you because like this pc would not be possible without you guys and uh it's just the last few like months have been completely amazing i, I don't understand how i've ended up where i have but just i've got this really really nice little community on uh, our own corner of the internet i don't have to worry about much everyone's kind everyone's like keeping an eye out for each other and everyone's just been so supportive of the content that I make and the things that I do, both on stream and on videos, it's just, it means a lot. So, definitely a massive thank you to you guys. Dude, I'm not going to let you push up on me, sorry. Chances are I'm getting off the highway here pretty quick. Try and take it easy so I don't roll the truck. Actually, this is a truck that I typically would drive on stream. Uh, I tend to do a fair bit of trucking, so that's where this is from. I do uh, want to mention this too, I'm thinking of bringing some other series back, including City Skylines uh, and stuff like that, and way back when I had actually made an additional channel where I was uploading exclusively content similar to City Skylines, so games that were like more point and click I guess, or I don't know what the term would be, but stuff like that rather than just straight up simulation based stuff, where like I would say trucking or the racing or stuff like that comes from. 
Would you guys like to see City Skylines back on the main channel, or if I made another channel dedicated to basically games that are outside of my spectrum, would you guys go sub to it? Uh, obviously, I do already have a second channel, it's Lawn Hauler 2. Uh, over there you can find uh, funny moments montages. Obviously now with the new computer, I have a ton of work to do to get back to that and get some of those made and hopefully some nicer ones going forward. They'll be in better quality since all my stuff will hopefully be better quality. But uh, obviously having three channels would be a lot. I don't know if I want to do that because it takes a lot more maintenance. Hopefully I could post daily uh, now if I can start getting stuff in order. It's going to be a little bit obviously like I basically had like 12 hour days of just getting everything set up and, and working right now. So it's going to be a little while before we reach a point where it's like daily posting. I would like to get there. I think I can do it on top of streaming. Obviously still streaming Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday over at Twitch. So definitely check that out if you're interested. But other than that, I just want to hear what you guys' thoughts are. Are there games you would like to see? Actually, I do want to mention this. There was one game. So... Most of you guys will know, like, I like games like Satisfactory or Astroneer where you have to get technical and, and do stuff. But I also just like, I like certain art styles or certain mechanics and stuff. And I found this early, I think it's early access game called Hydroneer. If you haven't seen it, check it out. It's like eight bucks on Steam. And there's not a lot to it, if I'm honest. Like, it's still a very basic game, which is understandable for where it's at. But man, it's a lot of fun. Like, I've really been enjoying it. I, I definitely played a lot of it on stream and just had a blast doing it. So definitely check that game out. I, I, somehow I missed it. It was one of those games that just like, I never saw a video on it. I never heard about it from anybody. And I wish I did because it's like a few months old or something like that. And it's like, it's really, really good. So definitely check that out. Uh, it's very basic. It's basically gold mining or like, if you're into mining or stuff like that, obviously it's Hydroneer, so it's based solely around water, if you will, in certain aspects. And speaking of gold mining, uh, Gold Rush is one of those games that I've been looking at for a long time. I don't know if it's kind of past where it should be, but like, again, what kind of games would you guys like to see too? Because obviously I have the things that I would like to do, but I'm also curious as to what you guys like to watch. And obviously... If I play a game, it's going to be different than how other people play a game. So, I know you guys bring up a lot of, a lot to me about, you know, how I do things and how I play games. Is there something you would like to see me play to see how I interact with stuff or, like, how I do things? I'm going to turn my light down here because it is daytime. Oh, we'll wait for that guy. We should be good to go here. Amazing. Imagine jaking under that. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble with shifting. It feels like the truck's really, really struggling, and it shouldn't be struggling this badly. But this is probably going to be a much, much shorter video than I usually post, and that is simply because I just want to get one out to you guys today, give you an update on what, what's kind of happening, stuff like that. So... That's kind of the deal with everything going on. It's just, it's been busy, it's been crazy. But hopefully we can get back to normal and hopefully you will see a significant increase in the quality of my content. Obviously it's also gonna take me some time. Whereas like I had my PC for quite a while before my old PC. So I had time to like adjust to it and learn how to use the settings like on the microphone or stuff like that. Everything I have is completely brand new. So it's gonna take time to kind of adjust to it and get used to everything that I have and how to use it so just bear with me there might be little issues here or there but in the next few weeks you should see everything start to smooth out and everything will be pretty good I think I just had a voice crack and so that means I didn't survive a single video damn it that's that's yep <laughs> about right at least now you can hear the voice cracks in HD or something like that right that, is that how that works but and then again let me know what you guys think of the wheel camera. Obviously, that's something that has been requested for a long time. I've just never had the ability to do it. Hopefully, that'll get easier going forward, too, because I do have a new desk coming. This is my old desk. Not the best looking thing on the face of the earth, but it's gotten the job done. Had it for years and years and years. Oh 
we'll get up here and going. And hopefully I can get my uh, power supply so I can get all that stuff sorted out soon too. Come on, you got it. Hold on to it here, because obviously he wants to uh, go all over the place, I guess. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm one of those guys. I love like the deep Brody rumble sounds, if you will. Don't get me wrong. I like a certain certain sports cars or stuff like that like actually that's a very hot topic I don't know if I want to get into right now but like the sounds of certain exhausts and stuff it's just I wish I could learn I want to sit back and, and and just like learn more about how certain exhausts actually uh, affect the sound and why I'm sure there's really good videos out on it that I probably have missed probably from people I already watch so probably go check those out the trailer. Horrible turn. Yeah, it's going to take a lot of getting used to. Obviously, I do have multiple monitors now too, which is going to make a big difference for how I do things. I'm not going to be working with just the one, so that'll be good. But, here we are coming up to our destination, and this is definitely going to be a much shorter video than usual, so I do apologize, but hopefully a little bit quicker, easy to uh, digest for you guys. We'll back down a little bit so we can pull in and park. We'll come out wide, just be careful. And I do want to say this too while I'm pulling in here, just, I know I say it a lot, but just a huge thank you for all the support just on all my content lately. Just huge, huge uh, amount of people coming out and supporting me and what I do and enjoying the content, which I'm really, really happy that that's a thing. Oh, please. Please take. Please take. Please take. Don't make me back it up. It's gonna make me back it up. Alright, well now you can see me back up a trailer uh, on the wheel camera. It might shake a little bit here and there. I'm gonna actually be quiet. This is a, a pivot, so I gotta get used to that real quick. Oh, come on. Don't get squirrely on me. Oh, runway. God, it's so hard getting used to the uh, axles. At least it's not a triple. If this was a triple, this would be an absolute nightmare. SCS desperately needs to fix those. Just a double pivot, so it should be okay. Oh, until I let it slide out like that. We should be able to hit this in three. Nope, that was too, uh, too late. Well, nevertheless, that is going to do it for today. Thank you guys again for all the support lately. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. I know that it's going to take a lot of time to kind of get everything changed up. There's a loud ass train passing behind me right now. Goodness me. But yeah, thank you guys all for just the massive amount of support and uh, getting me to where I'm at. That's going to do it for today. I will see you guys on the next trip. Peace.